I guess sometimes you just get lucky. You find that one story, that one movie, TV show or comic book that blows you away. This is how I felt when discovering Ice Cream Man. Well, let me tell you, this comic book is revolutionary. It completely changed my perspective on comics in general. And I think this is a small game changer in that it shows how the medium of comics can be instead of what it is right now. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Ice Cream Man, what it's all about, why I think it's a game changer and why I think you should read it right now. One of my favorite TV shows is the original Twilight Zone by Rod Serling. I am a huge fan of anthology style storytelling and the show is pretty much that. Every episode is a singular storyline with a twist or a message at the end. Now there are some great anthologies in comic books out there, even a very cool rendition of the Twilight Zone by J. Michael Straczynski, but for a long time I hadn't really found the perfect anthology series that fits my liking until for some mysterious reason I just out of the blue found Ice Cream Man on Amazon. I had read about this comic which is written by W. Maxwell Prince in some blog article but this was just kind of a gut decision. I just thought hey might as well check it out maybe I'll dig it and well I wouldn't sit here and talk about it if I didn't dig it that's for sure. So. What is Ice Cream Man all about? Ice Cream Man is an anthology comic book series, with every issue having its own cast of characters. The stories of those characters are very dark, oftentimes dealing with psychological issues, drug addiction, failure and sadness, and horror also creeps in and makes everything just more awful and depressing. The Ice Cream Man is a kind of Rod Serling character at first, always in the background and seemingly all-knowing, almost like he is the cause of the unfolding misery or at the very least a spectator of some sorts. A lot of these stories are highly unique and mix different genres, scale and tone. In one story we follow two junkies and experience their life story and why they ended up in their addiction. The drama unfolding really gets dark soon and while it has horror elements, it's it's more of a bleak story about drug usage than typical horror stuff. Other stories seemingly go into a very bizarre backstory for the ice cream man himself and what kind of person or creature he is in relation to the people on earth. I can already hear you saying, well, sounds like a typical horror anthology. Probably well written, but there are tons of those out there. Well, here is where we go into the revolutionary part I mentioned before. When comparing different art mediums, there are always a ton of differences found in the presentation, intention and execution of ideas and stories. Books and novels use words and poetry and your own imagination to create a world where you as the reader fill in the blanks. You essentially give voice to the characters and create your own version of the story in your head. Movies on the other hand give you less interpretation of the characters and plot and influence you with music, editing and direction. There is still a lot of interpretation in visual metaphors or ambiguity in characters, but your own imagination does not take over like in books. Comics are the middle ground, I think. You have the visual storytelling of movies, but since there is no music and actors to guide you through a story, your imagination still plays a big role in how you perceive the story. Let's get back to the main topic. I remember reading the first trade of Ice Cream Man and thinking, yeah, this is good, I think I'm going to buy the next ones too. Well, now we are at volume 5 and I can just not believe what the hell happened. Ice Cream Man toys with the medium of comics. If you are like me and have been reading comics for quite some time now, you know how the medium 
game works, right? Well, in this case, I open up a comic and I'm wowed by the creativity and bending of the medium. In one of the countless anthology stories of Ice Cream Man, the whole story is set in the early 19th century in Mexico. So the whole comic is written in Mexican, with subtitles at the end of the comic so you can go back and read it with the proper translation. One story is written in a way where you can read it backwards and forwards at the same time, starting at the beginning and the ending of the plot and both times it makes complete sense, which I still don't know how you achieve that and I'm just amazed by it. Issue 17 is another fantastic example of subverting expectations. It is basically a direct parody of a typical Superman storyline, but with the usual Ice Cream Man horror twist to it. I think my personal favorite has to be issue 6 though, where we see a man buying ice cream from the notorious Ice Cream Man and the page then splits into three different different blocks, each showing different scenarios but simultaneously of what is going to happen to the man in the falling hours of his life. W. Maxwell Prince is using the medium of comics, but twisting it in a very different and innovative way. There is no comic book that I have read that is really doing that without it feeling too gimmicky or just a typical Deadpool style breaking the fourth wall stuff. Since this series is currently not finished and I'm not really sure where Prince is going with his ideas, this video is going to be just that right now, a recommendation, not a full video essay. I hope to get back to Ice Cream Man to examine the themes and ideas in the future though. So please go out and buy Ice Cream Man. If you are a comic book nerd in the desperate need of innovation and just fresh ideas. Oh, and depression and anxiety if you read some of these dark stories. You might get those too. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos. Until next time, stay pulpy and stay artsy. See ya!